Meanwhile, <laughs> less than with four you. weeks until Election Day, Hillary Clinton is leaning heavily on the Obamas to help get out the black vote and the youth vote. President Obama speaking this morning in Ohio, telling voters the choice between the two candidates has never been more stark. It shouldn't be a complicated choice because it's a choice between somebody who is as qualified as anybody who has ever run for this office and somebody who has proven himself unfit to lead or represent this country that we love. And just yesterday, Michelle Obama gave an emotional speech in New Hampshire calling on women to rise up against Donald Trump. Too many are treating this as just another day's headline, as if our outrage is overblown or unwarranted, as if this is normal, just politics as usual. But New Hampshire, yeah, be clear, this is not normal. This is not politics as usual. And it doesn't matter what party you belong to, Democrat, Republican, Independent, no woman deserves to be treated this way. None of us deserves this kind of abuse. All right, well, that specific speech aside, just the general strategy, Pete, of her leaning on the Obama so much is an interesting one, given how much this election, not just on the Republican, but also the Democrat side with Bernie Sanders, was against the status quo and the establishment. True, but it's, I think it's a smart and powerful mm -hmm. move, if I'm them. I mean, they're, they're powerful campaigners. He feels even more comfortable in that mode. She's clearly very good in that mode. And Hillary Clinton has had problems with her base. And you know, while not every progressive loves Barack, Ob Barack Obama, they, they like a lot of the things that he's done and if he can tell them Hillary Clinton will solidify that legacy and they can multiply you've got Bill and Hillary and Bill doesn't do well for her these days but <laughs> yeah, if they true. make up for Bill they can spread across the country man that's an offensive uh, that's that's tough to be people yeah. like Obama more and more these days I've got to say now that everything is mind blowing yeah, it's yeah. mind blowing but yes. polling to show his job performance mm -hmm. numbers right now and if we want to pop those up on the screen 52% uh, yeah i i mean Look, hers is not about job performance, but on the campaign trail, it is, because that's what her job is. She's a campaigner right now. I thought that, yeah, look at that. I think that's reflective of how she did yesterday on the stump. Now, I didn't listen to the politics part of the speech as closely as I did the emotional front end of the speech because of all the cutaways of the families and whatnot. I mean, I'm just, I'm watching it kind of journalistically and saying, this works. It's very well produced. It is a job out on the campaign trail that the Obamas do well. And you said, yeah, you said in the green room, you thought that was the best. Michelle's was the best campaign speech. I think it's year. the best campaign speech I've seen. I can't remember as, as good of a campaign speech in a long time. It was amazing because it was visceral. It yeah. wasn't the first part. Her of voice was breaking. Was I'm more. sorry. It was emotional. Was, Her yeah. voice that's was what, breaking. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was visceral. She spoke emotionally. People understood. She spoke as a woman. She spoke as a mother. She spoke to other women. She spoke to men who like women. Um, and so as a result of she that, she specifically said men that. who right. like women, no, but I mean, no, but I mean men who yeah. appreciate that women are not just a commodity to be talked about in the way that certain people talk about them. I also will say, you know, the reason it's smart for her to have the Obama's campaigning for her is all she needs to do is replicate the Obama coalition. And she will have one um, from a from a purely mathematical perspective. She needs that Obama coalition. If the only people that came out to vote for her were the people that came out to vote for him. Mm -hmm. She'd be president. So in that sense, it mm. makes a lot of sense for her. And Michelle Obama is beloved. So for flip that it reason. though, Kat. I mean, if you flip this to the other side, you mentioned Ivanka. She's also, I mean, we saw this from the RNC convention. She's also one who captivates not just the base, but talks but to not recently. millennials. She's and, not no, out there. So where has she been? Well, that's a question a lot of people are asking. And there's a lot of talk about the Trump brand being in trouble. And she's obviously running that along with her siblings. And she's got a lot of businesses of her own. Um, but a big question does loom. Why is she not out speaking on behalf of her father, saying this isn't the man that we know? Well, at least well know it's today. a lot tougher for her to do right now than it is for Michelle to do right now, given everything that's going on with her dad. It's a really awkward position. It might be tough for her to have heard some of these things and process them, but campaigns, you know, speaking campaign strictly, she does need to get but out there. But she's the one who rivals those yeah. those numbers in terms of likability and favorability. Yes. It wouldn't be Here's, and Kelly and Conway's like. Can I, can I tell you why? The, but it's a different role, though, for the campaign manager and for and his a daughter. Family member. Yeah, and she has crossover appeal too, Ivanka does too. There's, there's, one, there's one thing about Ivanka I want to say quickly though. Jared Kushner, her husband, Sorry. is the person that was apparently responsible for the idea of putting those women that accused Bill Clinton of rape um, and assault and harassment 
at the front row of the debate, and I think that's something she probably doesn't want to answer for, that her husband was the person that played the key role in decisions about whether to promote them and exploit them the way that some people... I think it's impossible for us to pontificate yeah, right. why, but... Yeah. Well, yeah. A, a new Fox News poll shows Hillary Clinton leading Donald Trump by seven points nationally, but other polls show the race much closer in two key swing states. We'll discuss what it means for this fast-changing race.